So this is my grandma, and we're going to be talking about racial segregation in Milwaukee. Back in the day? Yeah. Okay. In the uh, 40s, okay. 50s. Yeah. Um, it was pretty much segregated by all races, not just black and white. It was Italian, uh, Irish, Jewish, German. Polish. Everybody had their own neighborhood. You pretty much stayed in your own neighborhood. Um, eventually, being as this is a, at the time was a manufacturing town, a lot of work, people started getting jobs and started working with other, you know, other races, other other um, other religions, you know, and you learned that those people weren't as bad as you had thought they were uh, because things that you don't know frighten you. And it's not like you didn't like Italians or you didn't like black people or you didn't like Chinese. You didn't know any. So you were always just leery of them because you knew nothing about them after you years in the factories or any type of business where you were exposed to them and you found out that they were just like you, um, a lot of that went away. The segregation part went away because now everybody lives all over. Um, and mostly that was, I think, from when they had the, the open housing marches in the 60s and that kind of gave you a right to live anywhere, so now everyone does. But... Um, Milwaukee is still a very prejudiced city. There's a lot of prejudice here. There always was. I'm sure there always will be. It's In Wisconsin, it's probably the most prejudiced town in Wisconsin because, I, I don't know. I don't understand it, but it just is. It's If you go up north, it's not as bad. If you go to Green Bay or, or Kenosha or La Crosse, it's not like it is here. This is just don't doesn't make sense, but it is here. Could you talk specifically about the like interactions, like in the time of segregation between the blacks and the whites, because these projects are more centered around that. So okay, blacks and whites. Most um, they had an area it was called referred to as the Haymarket. That was um. Oh, maybe from 2nd Street to about 6th or 7th Street from, oh, I don't know, Walnut or Brown maybe over to about Juno. That, at that time, when I was young, that's where all the black people lived. They pretty much stayed there. Um, there was a few of them had jobs like that uh, oh, American Motors built cars. Some of them had jobs there. Uh, they came, most of them came up from the south, um, worked in factories. Sorry to say, most of the women were maids or um, housekeepers or cooks or... Um, and they pretty much... They went to work, did their job, and, and came back home, and they stayed in their own area. They used to have call it, it used to be called Bronzeville. That was like an area where they lived, um, they, where they had, that's where they lived, that's where they socialized, their churches were there, uh, the taverns that they went to, um, and pretty much white people didn't go there, and pretty much black people didn't come out of there except to go to work. Um, I don't think in, in the beginning I don't think it was I don't think anybody was afraid of anybody I think nobody understood anybody so white people tended to stay away from there mm -hmm. um, and I think because where, where they lived it more bordered it pretty much bordered on a German neighborhood because once you crossed Walnut going north, that was all German, German Jew, uh, and I, I think that's where they more or less started to assimilate, and people, 
Germans were a little more tolerant, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly because it was like... Uh, if you did something, if you did something to a German, he could get mad or despise you, but it was you, not your mother, not your brother, not your uncle, surely not your whole race. It was you and him, mm-hmm. um, because that's the way we were raised. Now, I'm sure maybe the Italians and Irish and that were the same. I, I don't know because I'm German. I only know how the Germans were. Um, uh hate to cut you short, but this is running a little long. Uh, could you quick speak a little bit on like people that were mixed black and white and then your first experience with a black person? Okay. People that are mixed black and white, there was very, very little of that. Um, I mean, there was always some. Mm-hmm. Even when I was little, there was, there was some, but it was, there wasn't much and it was I think at that time it was frowned on from both sides. Mm -hmm. Whites didn't like to see a a, a white woman with a black man. And 